comes out on my belly. laptop camera to talk to you guys uh, for this video because my phone is dead. Um, I've had this phone for over a year and for some reason out of the blue it picks and chooses when it wants to charge. So it's took me a while but it's charging <laughs> finally. But uh, this video um, I'm probably going to have different people with different views thoughts, opinions, and that's okay because you're entitled to your own opinion. But uh, this is just a little tip that I kind of picked up on and I kind of realized that I did this little idea uh, without knowing it. I did it with all of my children, minus the newer one because he's only a little over a month old now. But um, I noticed with my other children, my three older ones, that I did this idea and I didn't even realize how smart it was for me to, to do it and I thought of it. So with all of my children, um, Peter Payton and now Dominic, um, at the, the their sock, underwear drawer, pajama drawer, it was all in one and it was at the very bottom of the dresser it was easier for them to access for when they were you know three and four years old and was able to dress themselves and about that drawer was so special about that drawer being at the very bottom was I let the kids put away their own you know, clothes, the socks, the underwear, the pajamas, it all went in that one drawer at the bottom. And I would teach them to put away their laundry. Well, over time, everything would be unfolded. But I realized with Dominic, I would tell him to, you know, go pick out pajamas and we'll get ready for a shower. You know, that way you can have your shower or a bath, whichever one you want. And he, of course, I want a shower. Okay, cool. No problem. You can have a shower tonight. And he would literally run out of excitement because he loves taking showers. I don't know why. He's three years old. So whatever makes him happy right now. He would run into the bathroom and open the drawer and pick out his own pajamas, get his socks, get his underwear. You know, he'd be set. My glasses need fixed. Unless I'm tilting my head too much. I don't know. I feel like I'm tilting. I'm going to take these off just for right now. Um, so he would go pick out his socks, his underwear, and his pajamas. And he would bring them back to me. Now, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. I'm trying to be quiet because I got the little one right here. He's asleep. Uh, Bentley. So... Back to what I was saying, I don't remember everything that I said. Anyway, so the very bottom drawer would have the socks, the underwear, the pajamas, you know, we already went through that. But they, since they would dress themselves and pick out their own stuff, uh, to, you know, it was teaching them to be a little in, independent, basically. And the clothes would become a hot mess, unfolded, you know, kind of mixed in like freaking spaghetti or soup. So, I just left the drawer like that. But all the other drawers were fine. And I realized with Dominic, and I started thinking back 
after I realized this with him, that I noticed that Peter and Peyton did the same thing too. I noticed letting that happen taught them not only independency, but it taught them to match. You know, like, you know how you play the matching game with kids to teach them to recognize the, the cards and try to make sure they match together and what's different, what's not different, what's the same and so forth. Well, this is somewhat like that, except it's with clothes. So I started buying pajamas that match, you know, that are sets. And then I would just let them put them away after washing them, after we got home from buying them. And I noticed they were matching, you know, every time I sent him or Peter or Peyton to the room to go get pajamas, they would match, you know, instead of being mixed match, they would actually match, like they would get the right top, the right bottom. I realized, why not spread the word out about this, you know, maybe I'm not the only one who does this. If I am, well, maybe getting the word out will help other parents, uh, anybody, you know, to try this with their two and three year olds, you know, let them have their own drawer that they can mess up and not make a big fuss about it and, and you know, let them put away their, their clothes that goes in that drawer, you know, their socks, their underwear, their, their pajamas. Let them put that stuff in that drawer because, like I said earlier, it, one, teaches them independency, two, it helps you out, and three, in the long run, when you teach them how to dress themselves and how to match things, this would be a start. It would help them. So once they're older, they would know how to match. They would know how to be a little independent, how to put away laundry, because this is just the beginning. As they get older, you teach them how to fold clothes. For right now, two, three, and four year olds, let them fold their clothes their own way if they choose to they you know my kids they mock me they try to watch how I fold my laundry and put everything away and they try to mock that they try to do it now if they mess up who cares just give them pride good job good job you did good proud of you you know um you know give them a high five proud and say yeah good job woohoo you know do something like that They'll appreciate it. It'll make them feel good. Make them feel like they're doing right. Pretty much they are. They pretty much are. You know, uh, they're just kids. Let them be kids. Don't make them do all these chores. You know, because they're becoming independent. You gotta do some chores yourself. They're just kids. Let them play. Let them have fun. Let them go outside. Let them read. Let them color. Pretend, you know... Play pretend house or something, you know. Remember, like if I know, I'm trying to find the words to say this. I know not everybody has had a wonderful childhood. I've seen it on the news. I've seen it on, you know, the criminal investigation shows, and it's so sad and heartbreaking. But try to think how your life would be for those who never had this chance uh, uh, growing up as a child. Uh, try to imagine how you and your life would be, how happy you would be to get to play and do all the, you know, all the things that you witnessed with other kids that they got to do and how they would be to, uh, play house or pretend play with dolls and stuff, you know, and for those who have done that, remember those times when you were so happy at that young age, and just let your kids do the same. Don't put too many chores on them, but do give them a little bit um, to, to help them learn a good life habit that will help them be independent and that they, they can use and take with them as they get older and when they move out on their own it stays with them and they can keep going you know and like I said having 
this one drawer as their own and having them help out with the laundry and just put away their own pajama socks and underwear into this one drawer, it will help. Okay, it teaches them independence. And then when you, like I said earlier, when you tell them, hey, go get pajamas, if they want to mix match, let them mix match. Who cares? But if they match it, they match it. Test them every once in a while. Say, hey, go pick out a matching set of pajamas. Let's, you know, go get, go get pajamas, you know, the ones that match, the shirt and shorts where they go together, you know. And if they get it wrong, that's okay. Let them wear that. And then you can correct it the next night by saying, hey, let's go pick out pajamas. And you say, okay, well, this shirt goes with these shorts or pajama pants, whichever one, you know, that, that you have. And say, okay, well, this shirt matches this. And this is why. Look at the colors. Look at the, the animals. They match. Or, you know, if they got candy on it. They, candies match if they got character like let's say dinosaurs or or spongebob or hello kitty something like that some kind of character if they match you know show them how they match and why they match and teach them a little bit that way they can understand and comprehend more uh, what matching really is and then the next night after doing that the next night go through it again with them hey Go pick out a matching set of pajamas, you know, for bed. You don't have to get ready for now. But when it comes time to get ready, look, we'll have it ready, you know, or something like that. But I thought I'd share this with you guys because I thought it was a really good, helpful tip. And I'd like to know your guys' feedback if you've done this. If you're the only, you know, if you do this too and I'm not the only one. Well, just something. Just something. Comment below. Um, getting tired. Ooh. It's a little after nine o'clock. His big brother just went off, and my dad and everybody else is in bed, and I need to get in bed. So, if you like the video, thumbs it up, comment below, um, share the video, check out my channel. You know all my other videos, and uh, subscribe if you're new. I don't do many of these types of videos, but I do random videos. Hint the channel name. Crystal so random because I do all kinds of stuff I'm all over the place that's why it's called crystal so random I do random stuff anyways so I'm done blabbing I love you guys good night and live life to the fullest because life is short and so am I bye